All right, Mulligans and Hackers Golf. What episode yeah. are we on? Uh, I don't even remember, I honestly. Like 80. It, it could be. It's getting close anyways. But, I mean, we're, uh, we're going to sit down today and uh, bring another little short to you. We're going to talk about uh, putter evolution in our game today. Yeah, between the both of us, uh, you know, this is our fourth year playing, and, you know, we've had some, um, how would you, what would you say, uh, different putter um, setups? <laughs> Setups, experiences. Yeah, well, yeah, I probably have. More, I mean, I probably have more than you. I, I, uh, I since, since we started this four years ago. But well, I think the, I, I started with the ball. So let's start you with the putters, and, and let's uh, let's go through your uh, your your tour through here yeah. once we started. Hang on, here, no. It might it might be episode eight. I can't remember. We're woefully unprepared today because you know it's super cold and a mad, a mad amount of snow outside. I, I am just. I'm I'm very depressed about this. Um, actually, I've I've been not feeling well for like the last um, three weeks. I've been under the weather, and we got we we got absolutely hammered yesterday with snow. It is episode eighty. Oh, okay, episode so thanks eighty. Thanks for for joining us on episode eighty. Um, yeah, and I've made a road trip yesterday in this crazy ass bullshit. The whole province got crushed in it. Um, I went to Calgary. I was supposed to go for a. Uh, a concert but it got canceled but we went up anyways and stayed in calgary for the night but uh yeah snow shit not happy no uh, i'm not, o- i'm over and i'm ready for golf season <laughs> not, not feeling well not feeling well and snow it is winter in alberta <sighs> but here we go okay episode 80 putter evolution yep i started when we started this um my first putter i put in the bag because i am i'm a I'm a vintage guy. Yep. I like old shit, whether it's hockey. Um, you know, I always wore the the old uh, bird's eye cage and helmet style. And back in the day, I wore the Dofa bubble cage. I like vintage shit. So when we started this, the putter I had in the bag was a um, Tommy Armour Silver Scott. Um, and it's just, it's because I like the, the Wilson 8802. It was the only thing I actually found it in the backyard because I had clubs in the backyard for some reason. And this old this old putter was in the bag, so I'm like, I'm using this because it looks like the 8802 Wilson. That you know, I I like Wilson stuff too, so I knew that putter was was fooling around. So I pulled out the Tommy Armor early, and uh, when I say my putting was bad in that first year, year and a half, two years, three, <laughs> three, <laughs> three years, <laughs> it was bad. I mean. It, I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to read greens. I didn't know pace, and I'm using this this ancient putter that had no mill face, just a flat, single blade. And Looks like a tiny little hockey stick. It does. It does. It was so bad, but I used that for like the first year, the entire first year. Yeah, because but was, before it, that, you also had a, a special custom made one that you had in your no, bag. No, that was came. That came the next year. Oh, did it come after? Because I wanted to upgrade the next year. So. Oh, okay. So the Tommy Armour was my first one. Then in our second year, I used the um, the Tommy Armour for the first few weeks, but I knew I was upgrading, and I got the um, Sub Seventy, 006 Sycamore. Yes, that's which, right. Which, other than it was a half moon back, actually really looked like the Tommy Armour, but it had a milled face. Um, but it was a, it was that old blade. Hockey stick type type putter. It wasn't even a blade putter. It was a hockey stick type putter, um, and I didn't put any better with that. No, but, no. I, but I did use it for the rest of that second season. Yeah, and then I, if I'm not mistaken, I made a swift departure from your from uh, your possession. Yes. <laughs> uh, for what I paid for it, yeah, I uh, I made sure I used it for the entire second season. But when that season was over, it was uh, uh, it was sold off. Uh, I got rid of that thing and. Uh, then I moved into, uh, in that off season, the second year off season, um, a buddy of mine that I know lent me some clubs and he lent me a putter. And it was there was a Nike method that had the half moon, but it had an insert in it. Yep, yep. And it wasn't a milled base. It was just it had an insert in it. And I really liked how that felt. That was the first putter that I'd used because I used your, your malt beef for a while. Yep. For a few rounds. And I didn't mind that putter. But this one was the first one that I had that felt good when I hit the ball. And again, my ball evolution was at the time too, and, and at this time, 
getting into like the third year, I was strictly a Pro V1 guy at that point. Um, so I really liked how it interacted with the Pro V1. And, and you know, I'm, I won't say in that third year that my putting got any better, but I was more comfortable putting. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I used that Nike method for a while. Then I, again, in, in wanting to try different things, um, I bought an Odyssey. Uh, actually, I, I had like three Odyssey. But I had a blade Odyssey, and I used that for a while. But it had a metal insert, yep. not the synthetic one. Yep, yep. And I didn't like the way the ball reacted with that one. So that one didn't last that long. But then um, I found an Odyssey with an insert that actually looked just like the Nike method. And it had a Superstroke uh, 3.0 on it. And so that was the one I pulled out for the fourth year. Right, yep. And... And I say my putting got better in the fourth year, and it really did. My putting uh, monumentally got better. Drastically. In the fourth year. Drastically. But it wasn't just the putter change. I actually went, worked on the greens, worked on pace, worked on line. You started putting your time in. I started in. putting time into it, and that's where I noticed the biggest difference in putter. But now, this this Odyssey that I have, um, like I really like this putter, and it's in the bag. But I'm working with. Lombardi now on being a team Lombardi guy. So I've had a couple of Lombardis sent to me and uh, I've tried them out and I like them. And me and Paul are working right now on getting a mallet that works for me and maybe I'm going to uh, take it on tour next year. So that's in the works right now. But, you know, I look at all the putters I have in the, I have in this room and I don't know if it's just I want putters and I want more putters because I've never tried the TaylorMade because I've never tried your TaylorMade or anything. But, um, you know, in this putter evolution, like, I would like to, you know, if I'm going to work with Lombardi, like, the last putter he sent me, I don't know if you saw the videos that I have on, on the gram or whatever, um, the shaft flex was a little sketchy. I didn't mind the putter. Like, the... The, the the putter face or anything because it's a milled face to me um, the flex reminds me of a child's flex like yeah. it's just yeah. it's yeah. like it, it, it's like i grab like I, I grabbed it the when you and, got it i'm like ooh, that's that is pretty flexible and i was gonna i was gonna i was gonna do some work on it get it probably up to where like change the shaft or whether but paul to his credit at lombardi literally when i put the video on instagram he literally phoned me right away and said i'll don't do anything with the putter he goes give me your specs We'll get one made for you. We'll get it out to you in January and spend the off season working with it and get ready for season number five. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And uh, I appreciate that from Paul. And we've been kind of going back and forth here now on what I'm going to use next year as a Lombardi putter. Yep. So, um, you know, that's, that's that in itself is evolving with Paul and Lombardi. So we'll see how that plays out and see where that goes. Um, but shout out to, Lombardi though and Paul and the putter that he sent because I got it I got this putter for the last two days of our season and uh I think it was on the third hole that we played that I made a 25 foot putt for birdie something like that yeah um and yeah it was pretty pretty when, good when I when I drained that one you and I both looked at it and went oh okay and it was just it was just that wow right and you know even with the flex issue um it really it really made me focus on my tempo takeaway and um you know it it helped it helped but i i do need a, a you know a stiffer shaft in the putter but we're working on that so well i mean we'll see what happens we'll in the next happens season right that. you you just need to keep putting your work in on your putting and at home and i mean we to keep building off of what you did this year yeah and and i again i'm 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 impressed with with how the putting turned out so, you know, I just want to build on it next year. And, yeah, I still practice. I got the putters downstairs. I got my putting rig set up, and I, I do putt a lot. And it's just pace, just just learning what where in the clock going back you are for, for the distance that you want, right? Yep, so, 100%. It's all feel, right? So we'll see how this putter thing plays out next year. And, and uh, yeah, I was I'm probably still going to buy putters because, I don't know, I just can't get it out of my head that I need putters. Well, that's kind of like me. I mean, I started with uh, um, the old Scotty Cameron, 
uh, Platinum Two. Platinum Two, yeah, right. uh, that's it, actually it, a really nice putter. It is. It's uh, it, it's basically a replica of the one that uh, Tiger used a lot of those years. And I didn't know anything when I started. Like I, I got that one, and you know, I was using a blade putter and kind of man, eh, whatever. And then I upgraded my. Uh, I bought some um, bomb tech clubs off offline and i'm like well i'll grab a putter and, you know i like to have a matching set so i got a i got a putter and it had uh it was basically like it's not a milled face but like a flat steel face and it was a little tangy but i mean it's not terrible i think my, my dad still has it it's in his bag and it was like it's, it's not a bad putter but it just as i kind of moved along i'm kind of like yeah and then when, when I went, we really didn't know what we were doing. Right. So then when I went to get my irons uh, and I went and seen Bob and got fitted for my, uh, for my irons. And I said to him, I was like, well, while I'm here, like, I'd really, like, I want, I want to know what kind of putter I need because putter, putter fitting has always fascinated me. And, uh, he's like, well, it's kind of like feel blah, 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 blah. He's like, here's a couple of things I have, you know, he had a couple of different ones and he's like, if you just want to mess around with a couple here. So he got me a Maltby, and uh, I grabbed the Maltby mallet, and I was kind of hitting some balls with it. And I'm like, it's yeah. a two, it was a two ball mallet, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, uh, I was like, I actually don't mind this. This isn't bad. I was like, I like it, the the shaft a little bit extended because I was having some back issues at the time because of my wild swing. Um, I was like, I don't want to be crouched <laughs> crouched over so far. Like, I, I want to be able to stand up straight, and you know, and I always put counter counter balances into my putter grips, um, in the super strokes. So then I got that one and I got a custom like 36 inch uh, super stroke 3.0 grip, put it on there. I used that for um, the very first um, tour season we had um, when I basically swept everything, won it all. Thanks uh, for that dynamite drop in. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, year number two, um, uh, after that that season, um, I'm I got a... The ta Taylor made spider ECG for Christmas um, with, you know, all my putters have the double bend in them other than my, other than my uh, blades. Um, so I got that and, you know, it's got the, got the insert in it. It's not a milled insert, but it's, uh, I guess it's not plastic either, but it's like, uh, it's kind of hard to, I, 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 it's got an inserted face anyways, but it, but it's not metal. It's not a metal insert. And, uh, so anyways, I got the inserted face and I started using that a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. And I, I really liked that one because it had a, it's got a stability shaft on it as well, like a putter stability shaft. I really, really liked that. Um, so that one found my way, it found its way into my bag. Well, when you started working with that one, um, I know your putting was good early. Yeah. But when you started working with that putter, there was definitely a noticeable more, I mean, not that you need more confidence in your putting, but. Your stroke and with that putter became like money. Like it became, I mean, uh, there's that video of, of you putting oh, yeah, three pitch. balls yeah. with that putter. And I mean, you know, you put your marker out there and then you, you know, you go above, you go high and you hit the uh, pin and you go low and hit the pin. I mean, that is, that is literally uh, the process or the progress in your putting that we saw that year. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like you said, I've I've always like putting has always been one of the strengths to my games. But you're right when I, when I started using that one, I felt like my pace control was that much better. I was able to replicate my putts uh, more consistently. You know, I was missing closer, leaving myself easier easier second putts, right? Yep. And and you, which allowed me in in turn to be more aggressive because you could be more aggressive when you're like, oh yeah, I, I'm more confident with it, as you found out as you know this year. Um, so I got more confident. So I was being a little bit more aggressive, making some putts that you don't always make that way, right? Because yep. that's how it works. So then, yeah, yeah, I started using that one, and um, I mean, I tore my Achilles that year, so I didn't get to use it as much as I would have liked because I lost, you know, five weeks of the golf season, or well, probably two, two and a half months of the golf season to be really realistic. Because when I did come back in my boot, it wasn't great, but you know, I was doing something. <laughs> Um, and putting with one foot that's higher than the other, or th throwing you out is, is a little strange. Um, so yeah, I used that one. And then, um, I basically locked in on that one for quite some time. Yeah. And then and it's, it's still your number one. Yeah, it, it is my number one putter. I mean, it's, it's, a, it will always be the putter that I'm most comfortable yeah. with. Like if there's a round that we're playing, whether it's for, 
you know, on our tour, we're going to play in the, on the Alberta golf tour or whatever we're doing. I'm like, yeah, that putter's going to the bank today. Yeah. Cause I, it, it doesn't matter how I'm playing. I have the utmost confidence that with that putter, when I step up on the green or around the green that I can, you know, I can drain anything. So, I mean, this year, um, I mean, you talked about wanting to buy putters. I mean, I love putters. Like th that's always kind of been my thing. That's the one thing of golf that I'm like, you can never have too many of them. So, um, this year I was looking for a, uh, Odyssey jailbird and, uh, just so happened to have one that was, that came in right hand, double bend, um, into the pro shop at medicine at golf and country. So I traded in a couple clubs, knocked down the price a little bit, picked it up. Um, that one's got a metal insert face. Um, but I, I really like how it lines up and it's got a little bit of a longer shaft with a, um, Odyssey style. It's not, it's not a pistol grip, but it's like. Almost like a triangle, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like it's between a pit. It's like somewhere between a pistol and like the super stroke, right? Yeah. So, which is kind of nice because I typically I would change it out and put on like a super stroke, but I'm like I actually don't mind this grip. It's not bad. It's a little bit longer. Um, so I mean I use that one probably for I don't know a dozen a dozen rounds this year. I mean, if it wasn't anything that was you know super important, I would bring that one out. It's just got a straight steel shaft in it. Um, and I mean, I made some wicked putts with that thing too. I mean, uh, oftentimes, like if I, if that, that was totally, totally a big brand snob buy. Oh yeah, for sure. It was. For sure. For sure. It was. For sure. It was. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the putter, but I mean, you know, it, it's, it's one of those ones that kind of stays at home. And then like, if I'm not happy with my game and I'm just like, what am I going to move up? Oh, I'm just going to throw a new putter in the bag today just to get me to re refocus. Right. Like it's not even a putter putters, the problem. It's a refocus issue. And, and that's where, when I put that, um, Lombardi blacked out pinstripe in the bag for the last two days. It actually made me focus on putting. Yep. Way more. Yep. And I putted pretty decent the last two days, even though with the leaves and <laughs> the wind and oh, blah blah boy. blah. But um, yeah, I agree. If you change your putter um, where we are now, um, it does make you focus on what you're doing way more. Instead of just okay, I know what I'm doing here. Just get up and hit the ball or whatever, and you know. You're, you're manufacturing your lines, maybe, or manufacturing your pace. But when you put a different putter in the bag, um, you got to focus on everything. On everything. And yeah, that's that was definitely noticeable when I changed for the last, even just for the last two days of the season. Yep. Yep. For sure. And I mean, there was, there was times like I, I often say, like when I, when I try a new putter, it's the leg putts that are, that are yeah. the big problem. And right? Yeah. That was noticeable with the, with the uh, jailbird. Yeah. The yeah. lag putts were, weren't quite there. No. Cause I mean, I like, that's one of the, my strengths in my game is like, if I got a leg, putt, I'm lagging that thing up that, that my second putts usually pretty much almost the game. Uh, well, again, you don't three putt much. No. Uh, I mean, I'm down to like 1.8 putts per hole after the season, which was good. But I mean, that's the biggest thing I notice is, is, I don't have the feel with that putter yet because I haven't played enough with yeah, it, right? Exactly. Like I've played hundreds and hundreds of rounds with the Taylor Mates. But I mean, you you've spent you spent you know dozens and dozens of hours on the practice green with the Taylor Mates. Oh yeah, yeah, and in my and, and in my not, living room putting on my putting. And your and your Odyssey green. is not going to not going to get there until you spend that you know hundreds of hours with that thing, and uh, you might. But I still think your TaylorMade is the one that's going to. I, I just, like, looking down on the putters, I like the look of the TaylorMade the best. I like the sound of it coming off the club the best. I mean, am I going to buy more putters? Probably. <laughs> but, I mean, my wife will love that. But, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's one of those things. But that TaylorMade putter has been excellent, excellent. It's been everything I need. And, I mean, it's just you know, I think part of that is the stability shaft that, that came standard in there. And I mean, I, there's part of me that wants to try out some of the different brand name putters, like with those different putting shafts, um, to see how they go. Cause I mean, I have some putters with just the steel shafts and I'm like, there's a noticeable difference. Like it's harder to replicate your putts. Whereas like with that tailor made putter, it's so easy to just stand over a ball and hit it. And I'm like, I can hit the same putt again and again and again and again. And it just doesn't, it just feels the same. So, uh, I mean, maybe there is something to that. I mean, I've always wondered about a putter fitting, right? Like I've talked to lots of people about putter fittings and different things like that. And, you know, most of the time they're like, well, it's, it's what you like to look at. And I'm like, okay, but I mean, what you like to look at and how it feels, but there's gotta be some, some, uh, some reason that the putting fitting or the putter fittings happen, right? Like there has to be some benefit to it to some degree, I would think, which is something that I would like to see someday, but. I mean, I'm pretty happy with my putter. Yeah. And 
my putty, my putter is my putty. The putters that I have in my bag is still kind of evolving right now, just because I'm working with Lombardi and stuff. So we'll see how that plays out. And you know, if all else fails, the Odyssey goes back in the bag, right? Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, right? We all have, we both have reliable putters that we that we like now, and I mean. You know, it's it's one of those things. There's something to be said for you know. I always say it like, if I can get to the green in two, I'm looking at a, 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 a or maximum a bogey typically, yeah, like sure. on a bad day, yeah. and you know anywhere from a birdie to upwards. So but it is kind of funny that where we are now in our golf journey, I'm actually working with a putter company to get a putter. Mm-hmm. I never thought that would have happened. Even well, you realize guess, you right? realize the importance of the the yeah. putting, right? Like, I mean, and it is nice to be working with somebody like Paul from Lombardi too, because he's a he's a pretty cool cat. And, um, what he's doing is pretty cool. So it is. It is they got uh, good. They got good products. Yeah, they do. And because uh, you got one at your house now, right? Yeah, yeah. One of the ones, one of the ones that he sent us yeah. there, and one of the blade putters. And I mean, it's there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good feel. It's like yeah. it's a nice putter. I mean, I I, I just. I mean, I'll bring a blade putter out once in a while for messing around yeah. and having around, and I just don't really care about it because it's it's the difference in your in your swing, right? Like a blade putter is more of an arced takeaway, right? And whereas a uh, um, mallet. a mallet putter is more of a straight back, straight back and through, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's depending on how you're playing. Um, typically, like I've most of my putters are mallets, and that's just the way I putt, and it, it works for me. So I mean, I can't really complain. Yeah, so here we are. Yeah. Putter Evolution. So Still kind of continuing. I mean, we'd love to hear your guys' Putter Evolutions and where you started, what you what you have, what works for you. Like, yeah. let, us, let us know. Let us know what you got in the bag right now. Yeah. I mean, it's always, uh, it's, it's, all, it's interesting because, I mean, even the pros on tour, like, sometimes they'll change between a mallet to a... To a uh, Scotty Sheffler. Yeah, right? Like, oh. when he made that change, it was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. You go from a blade to a mallet, and all of a sudden he's starting to because that was one of the holes in his game. Like, I mean, he's the best in the world, but he still wasn't putting to the proficiency that he wanted. And he's like, "I got to make a change here." And then all of a sudden, it just yeah, everything's dropping now. So it's it happens to everybody, right? Yep. So, all right. Well, there's episode eighty. Yep. Sounds More good. To come. We'll see what happens in episode eighty-one. Yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Thanks for listening, guys. Take care. Later. Bye.